What's up, guys? This is your boy Wild Gaming coming at you with a video. We're going to discuss talents and legendarism. We're going to try not to make this too long. We're going to try to get straight to the point uh, and discuss which legendaries are better for what situations. So basically, the shock barrier. If you run shock barrier, you want to run though, these talents normally. This is the talents you want to normally run. If you take and you want to, uh, if you're running bursting, then you want to run beating the virtual when it's bursting. And the reason why is because you can heal multiple targets with it. It's, it's basically our AOE heal. So if you want to pop it, then you pop any heal. You know, it's going to heal everybody. Period. You know, so it's a pretty strong AOE to catch up. Catch up ability, that's what I call it. Basically, a catch up ability for when you fall behind. But for normal content, if you run with a with, you know, with a regular group of people that you confident in, you can run Glimmer of Light, which Glimmer of Light does the same thing. If I take Glimmer of Light and I proc, I'm not sure if they got to be in a group with me, but we're going to see. All right. Now, if you look, now everybody who I hit with that actually has Glimmer of Light. So it's a pretty good, it's a pre, it's pretty strong. Divine Toll is our strong ability, and it works, it synchronizes good with Shock Barrier. The other legendary that I like is the uh, Retribution legendary. This one here is good for when you stick when you're stuck in combat. If you stack haste and you stack this the haste ability, which I understand if you go with shock barrier, you want to run these two pretty much. But if you want to go for a straight haste build to where you can first put out a lot of damage, what you want to do is you want to go with uh, Relentless Inquisitioner. And the reason you go with this is you're getting 5% haste on top of what your haste is already at. And if you look at my haste, this is not my full haste build. This is just a build that I'm playing around with because I'm about to run a different legendary. But if you stack haste and you get your haste up, to, my haste is up about 26% when running that legendary and it gets me 5 extra percent, I get them up to like 26% haste. So... That legendary is pretty good if you want to do a straight haste build and you want to go Crusaders, Mike, Glimmer, Light. You know, that's a, it's strong for that and Awakening because what you're going to do is you're going to proc more uh, Holy Shocks, which is going to give you more Glimmer of Lights, which gives you more Holy Power, which in return, you catch more World of Glories, gives you more chances to proc Awakening. When you proc Awakening, you automatically have a higher crit chance on top of your Holy Shock. So it's, it has a really good high uptime. And the other legendary that I'm going to be testing out Later on in the video, you're going to be finding it down in, a, in my uh, uploaded videos. is going to be this legendary. The reason why I'm going to try this legendary is because the build that I'm running with, the, with my uh, Covington. If you look, I run this one, which gives me a crit, higher crit chance on top of this. So it gives me 7% more on top of giving me a better chance of my fusion of light. And if you go here and you look. Holy Light heals up to five targets, eight yards for 5.6% of its healing. But when you run this legendary, it increases it by 20%. So if you look at the healing right here, it's 35.75. Now, let's see if we can get a proc. If we can get a proc with Holy Light, or we go just work till we get a proc. We might get a proc if I do this. All right, here we go. We got a proc. Now, look at it. It went up to 5,362, but check it. The mana is 1,500, and your flashlight is actually lower. It's 1,100. So if you look at the, it healed for 2,600, and this one healed, uh, it's not going to show on me, but it show on somebody else if I hit somebody else with it. But uh, so this legendary right here is pretty decent because it increases the heal of this, and it works, it synchronizes good with um, with this legend, with this uh, conduit. And this conduit actually makes it even heals for 5.6% of the healing. But when you crit, when you stack crit with that, you don't want to stack a lot of haste with this build. You want to stack crit haste, but kind of keep them close. So that's basically why you see my stats the way they are here is because that is basically what I'm going to try out and test it out in the video and see how it works with this uh, ad fixes that we have this week. And the ad fixes that we have this week is basically bursting. Uh, let me get to it. Okay. Is uh, tyrannical, bursting, explosive, and prideful. So with bursting, I I don't I paladins tend to struggle with high bursting, especially if you got a tank that's pulling and you getting stacks on top of stacks on top of stacks. With glimmer, like I find that beacon of virtual is better for a bursting because you can add. It's basically good for uh, bursting and it's good for uh, grievous. 
because you need to keep people above 90%, 80% with grievous and bursting stacks. And you steady, consistently lose health. So when you pop this and you actually start healing, you can top everybody up. So it's going to be easy to maintain this dot and keep people above the health uh, threshold that you need to. And this one, it actually works good with bursting also because it gives you a chance to top people off and keep them healthy while the, uh, the debuff wears off on you. So that's what I'm going to be testing. I'm going to be testing this legendary because I heard a lot about it, <clears throat> but I haven't seen any videos on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to run Crusader's Might with it. I'm going to run Bristol and I'm going to run Beacon of Virtual just because it's bursting. If it wasn't bursting, then I would run Crusader's Might and I would run Glimmer of Light. What I may do in another video is do uh, Crusader's Might with Beacon of Virtual because of this week. So I might do two videos this week and see how, because if this lowers the cooldown of your Holy Shock, which you, and chances give you a higher chance of getting a infusion proc, so we can use the Holy Light, which the Legendary becomes useful when you use the Holy Light ability when you get this proc. So now if you look, let's see what this going to heal for, if I can get it off on somebody, okay? So if you look straight out the gate, all right, it healed for 1,300 credit, and it healed everybody around that person. And your Flash of Light actually doesn't penalize you much no more. Because of basically the fact that the mana cost is actually lower than the mana cost here. It's not as strong of a heal. But if you're in an emergency and you need a pocket and it's actually procs, then you can actually get this off twice on somebody. Boom. Hit them. Hit them again. You know, hey, it's not a lot, but it is, it'll save somebody from death. But I definitely wouldn't use that. I would use Holy Light off top because you look at what it's healing people around him for. If you look at healed them for 758 and it's just extra healing. It's not target healing is just splash healing so with that with this legendary with this conduit right here it actually synchronizes good so we're gonna we're gonna make a video and we're gonna do see how it performs live in action when we do a pug because it's better to do it in pug groups because people in pugs tend to run into stuff sit in stuff stand and stuff and just get hit by stuff so it's gonna be real challenging especially with bursting and if you go then do prideful also so but like I say, you want to prioritize crit or over haste. So we're going to try this build here and we're going to see how it works out. So I uh, hope y'all guys enjoyed the content and we'll see you in a future video. It'll be in the description with the, uh, with the build. And you can see how it performs in action. So like, comment, subscribe, support the channel, and look for future videos. Thank you once again. It's your boy Wild Gamer coming at y'all with a video and I appreciate y'all for watching.